Hey guys, welcome back to some StarCraft 2 action. We're just gonna be chilling out on the ladder for now. <clears throat> As you can see, this is diamond level. Trying to get back into things. I'm thinking of trying to hit Masters this season before it ends. I got a good couple of months to get that done. The highest I've ever been is Diamond League. I think tier, it was either tier 2 or tier 1. So I've been pretty fucking close to my goal. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I can try to hit even GM at some point, but for now, I'll be satisfied with just Masters. Alright, so we got a ZBZ. This is actually pretty good for me because it allows me to show you guys this build order I've been doing on the ladder in this matchup. And basically, uh, this is a build order that opens up with roaches pretty early on. It protects you against a lot of all-ins. <clears throat> I'm not sure how good it is, objectively speaking. Granted, because you get it very, very fast. We're talking like, you're getting a roach horn at 25 supply. And you're skipping Zerling speed, which is obviously very risky, and a little bit unorthodox. Because a lot of people just go for the typical Zerling speed, bang them yes shit. <clears throat> and I'm just going to be opening with a hatch first. It's always risky to go hatch first in this matchup, or any matchup really. Because there's always the possibility of cheese and... But at this point, it seems fairly rare you're gonna run into it. No, well, not that I think about it, there's really no point in getting that gas geyser so early. Man, my pool's gonna be really fucking late. I don't know why I made an extra drone. <laughs> oh well. Now, first things first, I want to apologize, because the quality of my videos, at least my StarCraft videos, is going to have to die down. Because at this point, I actually can't really tolerate the shitty FPS anymore. I know I've been doing it for a while, but fuck it, it's not really worth it. You know what, I shouldn't have put an extra drone in there. So, since I'm skipping Zergling speed, I'm supposed to be only... Basically, I'm supposed to only be putting two drones in there. That's an adjustment I'm trying. It's not technically in the build order. But, whenever I try to do the build order like normal, as suggested, I just end up with way too much fucking gas early on. So hopefully this adjustment can kind of fix things. Although I took the drone off a little bit late. I don't see anything. It looks like mm, it looks like he opened up with an attach first too. Gonna get a couple of overlords going. And I'm gonna be able to get an overlord here, which is actually really good for me. I guess he wasn't really paying attention. Because losing your overlord this early into the game is really, really bad. Like, it can lose you the game outright just because you did that. I'm just gonna get an early scout off. Oh, wait, what? Man, that's an absurdly fucking fast roach one he got. I'm gonna see if I can waste this guy's time, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, he's A moving the roaches, so that's gonna allow me to buy time. I'm gonna focus the roaches down in this case. And I'm actually gonna be ca I'm gonna cancel both of these. Because now that I look at it, I don't really need the oh, interesting. 
And that's actually really bad. <laughs> And he's not even paying a lot of attention to me, you guys. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't expect to see fucking Burl this fast into the game. Maybe, well... Okay, maybe if I had, um... Not skipped Zergling speed. Maybe if I just went with a typical Baneling nest. And all that good shit. Might have made me a little bit more vulnerable to that, but the way I was opening up, I don't think that was ever going to work. Even with Burl. And he didn't even, he didn't really micro it that well either. Like, being able to sustain through Roach Battles is actually pretty big. Because he has Burl, I don't. <clears throat> but, whatever. It was interesting. Sorry, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit sick. I've been feeling like shit all week, honestly. I think there's a bug going around. I should be pretty close to tier 2 promotion, though, so that's nice. And we got a ZVP. Which is also pretty good, because that means I could test out this build order. Okay, I want to try this thing, which is 3 base Hydra Ling. Because Hydra's, Hydra Ling is actually really strong in its matchup right now. Especially with Bane Ling support. <clears throat> and one thing I really want to see if I can pull off later is Bane Ling drops. Bane Ling drops are fucking absurdly good. If you can actually get them to work. And it's not very hard to get them to work either very easily draw your opponent's attention from one end of the map to the other. And that will give you all the time you need to make that kind of attack work. And if you get Banelings in the mineral line, that's pretty much like 99% of the probes are fucked. And since I'm going Hydra Lane and I'm going to be getting Banelings anyways, it's going to make it a little bit easier to transition into that. What? Not sure what this guy's talking about. Perhaps he's alluding to the fact that he might cheese me. Hmm. I'm gonna open pool first. <clears throat> I'm always suspicious when people are talking like that. I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to make of that. Whatever. It's not going to put me behind by much if I just go for pool first. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> I'm going to get my queen pretty fast though, so that's nice. Here. Uh, and I just hotkeyed my shit wrong. <laughs> okay, killing the probe like that is pretty huge. I'm gonna delay my third queen for now.
Okay, I got a probe. I'm gonna get a full scout off. Definitely worth. yet. Okay, he's going for a Stargate, which is pretty typical. God. I can't believe how much value I'm getting with these Zerglings. At this point, I don't really care if they die or not. They've more or less done their job. No, I need to get a spotter out here, just in case. I think I'm safe to drone a little bit longer. Get a couple of emergency zerglings, just in case. Creep tumor. I'm going to go ahead and get my melee upgrades. Can't see anything. Uh, it's just a phoenix. Hallucinated most well actually yeah it's definitely hallucinated. Gonna get my fourth now. I really, really hate how, um... <clears throat> basically, regular overlords and fucking... Transport overlords are bundled together in the same control group. Or in the same priority, I don't even know what to fucking make of it. It's really fucking lame and stupid. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and drop here. It just sounds better. And I'm going to need a macro hatchery to fight this properly. And yeah, he actually does have some units coming now. Where? Oh, I hate how queens do that, dude.
Yeah, he's pretty fucked at this point. Did I get my... Okay, yeah, my hide is coming. Which is great. And that is how you do this style, bitches. He's got... I might be able to kill him. Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna catch these phoenix, which is pretty nice. Adrenaline glands, I'm gonna need an Overlord Cavern. And yeah, it looks like his economy is just too shit at this point. And I have an Overlord going in there anyway, so... Pretty good. <clears throat> and that is how you ZVP with Hydra Lane. Basic stuff, but as you saw there, mainly drops are very, very effective. We pretty, we pretty much just won the game based off that alone. And, you know, making sure our upgrades are on time. We got some decent creep spread. Powerful economy. I'm just going to go ahead and change this real quick. Did it change? Okay, yeah. Just lagged a little bit. So here's a fun fact. I made that clan back... Well, technically I've had it ever since they released it. Because uh, I always like to play around with the icons. It's not really a big deal, but it's cute. I can always put amusing icons on my hatchery and whatnot. But that specific clone that I made for myself, I pretty much had that ever since I got into League of Legends. So that's why it's got the join me in all about the looties and stuff message. That was when I used to play League of Legends pretty much 24-7. I would go back and forth between StarCraft and League. And I pretty much only played Tristana and other Yordle characters. I don't know if I'm ever going to get laid again anytime soon, though. It's kind of lost its appeal to me. I still play it on occasion, but... I don't take it seriously enough to care about climbing at this point. Anyways, it's ZBT. I've been playing against a lot of Platinum players recently, which is fine by me. I don't know if I'm quite ready to play against Diamonds, since I've been on such an awkward little hiatus. And I've been mostly either playing other games entirely, or just playing StarCraft Remastered. Even StarCraft Remastered, I haven't really been taking that seriously. It was a little ironic, because I definitely planned on playing it more often, but... As it turns out, it's a lot harder to play it competitively than I figured. Not just in terms of the limitations, like... <clears throat> you know, you can only select 12 units at a time, but... As I said in my last video, there's all kinds of obnoxious bugs that just kind of... ruin the mood. It's really annoying, because... I'm trying to get into this groove of playing ladder regularly, and then it just kind of fucks you in the ass with a random crash, or the battle net server just stops working. 
doesn't happen 24-7 exactly, but it happens often enough to piss me off. Hmm, I'm actually curious where I should put my overlords. I gotta get this into the suicide position. Something I'm trying to do more often with my overlords. That way I can get uh, easy, easy scout off. And I pretty much always like to get two zerglings initially, just in case. I gotta get this guy... Actually, it might be pretty good to get this Overlord over here. Okay, this guy didn't open Reaper. It's actually really weird. I haven't seen anyone go Reaper in a while. Which is ironic, because usually... You see it pretty much 24-7, but not so much now. So before I get my third, I'm gonna try to get a quick scout off. I have a third queen on the way. I usually just go for three queens. I'm trying to get back into the habit of creep spreading properly. Because I've been half-assing that pretty bad. This actually times out perfectly. Okay, he's got this. There is some kind of building. Whoa, don't stop, Zerglings. We should do one more. Oh, 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 this is a full scout. Full scout, bitches. And he's got a starport. He's got only one gas. I can probably stop. Mm, I can definitely stop this. Actually, come to think of it, how the fuck did I even get in here? Oh yeah, because I killed the, the reactor. And at this point, the Zerglings are pretty fucked, but it doesn't really matter. Start creep spreading this way. I'm gonna suicide this overlord in there. Make a few more zerglings just in case. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys this thing called Hydra Baneling. Healing. Something I'm doing a lot more often in my games now, and this should be enough to keep me alive. Oh, it's a fast three base. That's actually quite interesting. Oh, okay, I thought that was like a Whittle Mine. It probably was a Whittle Mine. just in case. Get these in position. Make sure this is saturated. Yes, 
time to start making units. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to start using bangling drops. Gonna get some of these in position. Oh, there's something over here. Don't see anything. Okay, let me scale. This is very, very strange. Okay, I'm just gonna go around this point. Yeah, he's pretty much just trying to bait me. Which is incredibly annoying. Okay, I have to fight this at some point. change things in position. Oh, he doesn't even have upgrades. Yeah, this should be a clean, smooth wipe. I don't know why, but I'm always fucking terrified of fighting in a siege tanks. I think Brood War gave me PTSD. Because <laughs> tanks in, in StarCraft 2, I mean, they're not a joke necessarily, but they're not as strong as they are in Brood War, even after the buffs. 
closest thing to Brood War levels of terrifying they've ever been is when you could fucking pick them up with Medivex when they were sieged. I mean, it was a different kind of power, but it was definitely terrifying regardless. And thank God they changed it. That was so fucking annoying to play against. Got some cranberry and raspberry juice thing over here. It's delicious. I don't know why I didn't get into cranberry juice earlier in my life. It's good shit, man. <clears throat> so far, of all the matchups, Terran is probably by far the most annoying to play against in StarCraft 2, as Zerg specifically. I mean, Protoss can be annoying too, but usually Protoss is only annoying if they're using Dark Templar or a lot of Adept Harass. Another ZVT. Catalina. Never a big fan of this map. <clears throat> I remember when it was a thing in Heart of the Swarm. I lost so many games versus Terran on that map. <laughs> Especially as Protoss. I used to play Protoss a lot more back in Heart of the Swarm. And I remember I would play against some stupid shit like Mass Viking on here with Phoenix. Can I say Galactic like Fun? Yeah. I kind of want to try a Bangling all in actually. That could be interesting. A lot of Terrans seem to be fairly greedy. And yeah, I'm just gonna get this going. The Evo, or the Extractor, whatever the hell. I'm gonna go right for the, the spawning pool next. I'm gonna hide it over here so it's as close to a pain in the ass to look for as possible. I mean, most Terrans aren't going to die to a band and all in anymore, but we can catch some off guard. If I lose, I lose. It's kind of a coin flip. You're pretty much just playing off of the expected patterns of Terran players. And then doing stuff like this. And he used to work in Heart of the Swarm to an extent. Of course, I need to avoid getting supply blocked in order for this to work. If I get supply blocked, I'm I guess it's going to be way too obvious to him that I'm going to all in him if I just stack them. Oh shit. Get out of there, see? And he is going for the all in. Or not the all in, but he's going for the, the quick command center, so this could definitely catch him. Of course, I need to avoid losing this overlord. If I lose the overlord, that pretty much kills the rush. And the game by extension. Oh 
don't know why he left his main base over here completely exposed. I don't know why my fucking queen came over here. Yeah, at this point, I think he's fucked even if he does manage to hold this. Yeah. And that is the power of the bailing on him.